Hi, and welcome to our list of the top 10 essential items you need to pack with you before visiting Thailand. Quality, hard liquor. Asian countries are the world leaders when it comes to counterfeiting goods. But this accolade does not only apply to clothing and electrical goods. Most parts of Asia are notorious for counterfeiting food and drink in addition to all the usual goods we have become used to seeing around the market stalls. However, listening to music on an inferior set of counterfeit speakers might not bring you too much bodily harm, but drinking inferior counterfeit liquor might just damage your health even quicker than usual. Thailand also has a lot of inferior branded spirits, which they tend to place in recognizable branded bottles and serve in bars, so you might just think you are drinking the genuine article. But in reality, you are probably just swallowing down some funky moonshine prepared in the back garden of some local. Bring your own trusted brand with you if you can. Or just purchase a large amount at the duty-free shopping that will last you for the duration of your holiday. SIM CARD Roaming costs can be quite expensive when you're in other countries. So having a SIM card solely for your trip to Thailand can save you from an extra large bill after you return home. Try to bring an international pay for what you used SIM card with you to make sure your phone budget is always kept in check. You can also purchase a pay for what you use SIM card from most of the well-known convenience stores in Thailand, and top up your credit with as little as 50 baht at a time. In addition, it is conceivable to spend almost next to nothing with one of these SIM cards, as most of the bars and hotels have free Wi-Fi. So all you need to do is install and use an app, such as WhatsApp, Lime, or Viber, etc. Then you can have unlimited voice, or video calls for the duration of your stay. Mosquito Spray One nuisance you will always have to deal with in Thailand are mosquito bites. Unfortunately, some of the sprays that are available to purchase in the Thai stores are useless. Maybe costs were cut to make them cheaper, or maybe the mosquitoes have got used to the generic brand and have become immune to its potency. Either way, many of the local sprays are largely ineffective. Make sure you bring your own that is manufactured by a trusted or reputable brand. There is no guarantee that this will be perfect. But it should be a whole lot better than the local ineffective solutions that the majority of Thai shops have to offer. Fake jewelry. For those of you that like to sport your wealth around your neck or on your wrist, you really need to pay attention when visiting Thailand. For a nation of predominantly poor people, the lure of seeing what equates to several months' earnings loosely hanging around the neck of a clumsy, fat, or drunk foreigner is sometimes too much. Having your decorative valuables stolen whilst abroad is a guaranteed way of ruining one's holiday. But if those stolen decorative valuables were just cheap fakes that are only worth a few bucks, then you will have saved yourself a lot of money and tears. So whether you're the flashy type who likes to show off with the Rolex, a newlywed who wants the attention of the public, or maybe even an old-school rapper who has a penchant for fat gold chains, Please invest in a cheap counterfeit alternative for your stay, or be extremely careful and vigilant at all times. Secure Suitcase If you are a backpacker, or someone that travels with a suitcase that is made from a cloth material with fragile locks, then you might need to invest in a more secure form of luggage. There is a growing number of baggage theft claims from Thai airports which are often undetected until the luggage is opened. Once again, the lure of an easy payday is often too much for a worker that makes a fraction of what the average wage is in the Western world. It is wise to invest in a rigid suitcase with a combination lock. This is not only a great weatherproof option for traveling in Thailand. 
but it also acts as a deterrent for the opportunistic thieves. Hair Clippers Unless you are growing your hair, you'll probably require a hair cut or a trim, after staying in the humid heat of Thailand for a while. The barbers in Thailand can be extremely cheap, but this cheapness can come at a cost. The clippers and blades used at the Thai barber shops are often used for weeks or months on end without cleaning and can cause an infection if you are accidentally cut or grazed. Bringing an inexpensive set of hair clippers for the duration of your stay can be a way to prevent such a headache from occurring. Even if you cannot trim your own hair and decide to take your clippers to the barber shop and let them use it on you, it would be vastly more welcome than having to deal with an infection. Breathable clothes Shopping whilst abroad can often be a pleasurable experience. Thailand has a plethora of shopping malls and markets, but a lot of them offer mixed fabric clothes that restrict the breathing of your skin. This results in a lot of perspiration for some people and extremely foul odors in others. Body odor is never a pleasant thing, and being in a tropical climate only intensifies the funk. Bring suitable attire made from breathable fabrics to improve your stay here. Block of cheese. This might sound strange at first but all will be explained shortly. Like most places around the world, pizza and other foods made with cheese are extremely popular. However, like with most things in Thailand, cheaper and inferior ingredients are often used to keep costs down. There are many processed cheeses used around the world, and some contain bizarre additives and preservatives. My own personal experience from eating a pizza from a popular chain of pizzerias in Thailand resulted in me immediately being constipated and not being able to defecate for 11 days. So, if you enjoy your cheese with your meals, do not risk being blocked up for the duration of your stay in Thailand. Either abstain from eating Thai cheese, or bring a big block of the quality stuff with you in your suitcase, if customs will permit it. Extra Large Condoms Unsurprisingly in Asia and a lot of other parts around the world, the vast majority of men are not well endowed. As this is the norm, all the prophylactics sold in Thailand only cater for the small to the average sized man. I personally happen to be hung like a donkey, so unfortunately, to my amazement, zero shops catered for my needs. And when I say zero, I literally mean zero. Nada. Zilch. Nine. Zip. Nil. Jack. Nought. Bugger all. None. I searched for such a long time, that in the end I had to improvise by using a plastic shopping bag, and some duct tape. So, if you are a big boy like me, make sure you avoid this same situation by bringing some extra large triple XL condoms with you to Thailand. Telescopic Batin There is an increasing amount of violence around the world, and Thailand is not spared from this vulgar phenomena. Even in some of the more tranquil settings here, you could be subjected to a violent act at any particular moment. The deed could come from a jealous local, a drunk friend, an unstable traveler or even a pack of stray dogs roaming the streets. We strongly deplore any violent act. But sometimes you are forced to defend yourself. If you find yourself in such a position, then having a telescopic bat in at hand can help you get away relatively unscathed. You simply extend the device and wave it as a deterrent or swing it at the violent offender to defend yourself if they physically attack you. They are so compact that you could carry one around with you concealed in your pocket ready to brandish on the beach, in a bar, in a restaurant, or even on a date with a local girl who gets violent after you explain that you are not going to give her any money for her family's sick buffalo, as you have only just met her 10 minutes ago.